Hello, this is Dirk Dion from King Luma. And this is the second in a series of two short videos to introduce an update we're making for the King Luma Radiance product. And that update adds a couple of new features and several new effects that are based on Alpha Edge. So we have Alpha Edge Glow here and Alpha Edge Rays. And um, before we get into looking at some of the user interface and how to use some of the specific features of those effects, I'm just going to play down a sequence that I made using some of these effects. Okay, so in the previous video we talked about what do we mean by an alpha edge and looked at the different scenarios in Final Cut Pro where you could end up with an alpha channel and where these effects might be useful. And we came up with masking, keying, um, imported graphics with alpha, and titles. Those are all situations where these effects could be, could be quite useful. Now we want to just take a look at the effects themselves and the user interface and some tips for using them. So I have this, you know, the viral Jean-Claude Van Damme green screen footage here. Now the first thing I want to point out is if I go over here and I want to preview this effect, I'm not seeing much of anything, right? You might notice that there's a, a little bit up near the edges of this orange glow. And the, the reason, of course, is that um, it's not, it doesn't really have an alpha channel. So I'd have to actually enable that here first. And now if I preview it, I'm going to be able to preview these glows properly. So it's it's important to be aware these effects are really for that specific context, and they're they're not going to necessarily be so apparent or so useful if um, you know if if your video doesn't actually have an alpha channel there for it to be traced. So let me just grab the first alpha edge glow in the uh, in the theme here, and so we'll look at the, the on-screen controls. It's pretty consistent to the other radiance effects um, in the sense that. Here you have glow opacity, glow brightness, and something I'm calling glow width. And that goes one, two, three, left to right, these, these sliders. So this is the opacity. And um, this is a brightness control. And then this one, which I think is quite useful, is glow width. So it's basically scaling several things together. Um, and it's maintain, trying to maintain the same overall brightness. So you can see it's scaling, obviously, the softness and the width together. Um, but the overall sort of perceptual look of the effect, in some ways, will stay consistent. So rather than having to adjust two things to get this effect, I made it so that we could do it with just one slider, which I think is pretty useful. Now, one thing we'll notice about this effect, let me just zoom in a little bit so we get even closer to the edges, is you kind of have this like bright, a little bit harder edge apparent right on the edge of the, the key. And then you have this sort of softer, a little bit more faded aura going around there. And that's that's a nice look. And we're actually able to build it here. If I go down to this edge group, which is kind of a critical group to how everything works, um, there's outer edge, there's inner edge, and there's something called gap. That's basically what you have here to work with. And in this case, the inner edge is basically turned down, so it has no effect. So this, if I turn down softness, this is all this is. It's just um, it's just an outer edge, and this is the width of it. And that width is one of the things that scales with the overall glow width, so you can see that adjusting there. And the cool thing is when you soften it this way, it's blurring it, and it's blurring on top of you know, the foreground element, and since we're using add blend mode, it's kind of coming up with a, a very bright area right in here. Um, I kind of skipped over the blend modes, but you have add. If you watch the, watch the edge as I change these. So add is you know kind of bright. Screen is a little bit more subtle. Overlay is a little bit more subtle than that generally. This is behind, where the glow is entirely behind the foreground element. And this is glow only. So. You can get quite a combination, you know, through using all these combinations of parameters, you can get a lot of different looks, and we have a lot of different presets, you know, offering a lot of different looks already here. Um, back to this edge group. So, again, you have this outer edge, 
you have a, um, a separate inner edge, and that separate inner edge has its own width control, its own softness control. Um, just tweak this a little bit. And then once you have that set, again, it's all going to scale together with this glow width, which is a handy way, I think, to set it up. I'm pretty happy with the way that worked out. Um, and then you actually even have this thing called gap, which is basically between the actual alpha edge, and then it kind of creates a gap in the outer, in the outer edge. And you can even soften that. Sometimes I kind of use a thin, slightly softened outer edge just to get a little bit of better definition right here on the edge if that's if that's the look that you're after. And again, so this is brightness and the overall opacity you can sort of fade the whole effect down with this, which is a little different than actually adjusting the width. And what else do we have here? Um, the color is by default, it's just using one color, but you'll notice these point controls and they're not used actually by default but if i set this to gradient one and two you can actually you know have a color that varies over over a gradient which is kind of nice and another thing you can do is you can make kind of a custom if i make one of these black or dark so it's not really showing up because it's additive then you can do this kind of thing you know where you can be specific about where on the edge this glow is going to appear, and you can even, you know, do things like fading things on and off if I animate these points. Um, in addition, though, to this, there is actually, if I scroll down here, a built-in wipe already. Which I'm going to back out to 100%. And so this wipe, you know, you can go top to bottom, bottom to top, left, right, and stuff. You also, there's some useful um, center out and out, outer edges in options for how to wipe. So, you know, having separate wipe control and having separate control for both glow opacity um, and source opacity, that's the other thing. There's this blend mode where you're not gonna ever see the source. But in addition to that, you could choose, you know, 100% or anywhere in between, or you can animate that and have people seem to fade in and out, as I did in in several of those effects in the little demo sequence. And some of these things are already in other radiance effects, but there's flicker, so you can have brightness, um, you know, flicker over time. There's uh, something called shimmer, which is basically um, you know, kind of a uh, a noise pattern that can um, give you some different looks. Maybe we'll just browse some presets that use those things. And then new, at least to this product, is this Caustics, um, which is, yeah, it gives this sort of uh, this energy field. So let me turn down the, the shimmer and the flicker so we can just see the Caustics a little bit better. Actually, you know, I'm just going to give you a, show you a preset. You, you get the idea, basically. Um, with the caustics, it's not particularly suitable for the hard edge there. But if I say I throw this one on, you can kind of see the caustics. What it gives you there. And so those are all alpha glow effects. And um, you know we offer similar options for um, you know light rays. The significant difference there being, you know, that the rays actually have a source point, and um, this will add, this will scale several things in the effect, just like the glow width did. I think I call it scale effect. Um, and if you want specifically ray length, it's that one. This effect is actually set up for the, the gap, stuff like that. 
Anyway, I think that these effects are a quite useful addition to the uh, King Rumor Radiance product, and I hope you enjoy them.